whether you're watching TV, surfing the internet, or even at the cinema, commercials are everywhere. With so much advertising everywhere nowadays, many of us have pretty much learned to just tune it out. Except when it's furry, of course, and then suddenly we take note and listen. And surprisingly, quite a lot of commercials are furry. Hello, I'm Shadow Raccoon, and let's take another look at some more furry commercials. I start this episode with what is possibly one of the most requested adverts of all time. Well, at least in my comments section, the Cadbury's Caramel Bunny. Created in the 1980s by Cadbury to promote their caramel chocolate bar range, this character was used through the 80s, the 90s, and even reappeared in the late noughties too. The advertising campaign certainly turned some heads and I'm sure caused all sorts of controversy for being a little bit risque. Take a look. Well, good morning, Posty. Thank you. You know, you ought to relax a while. Here, see how the thick Cadbury's milk chocolate melts into the dreamy caramel. I love birthdays, don't you? Take it easy with Cadbury's caramel. Wow, and I wonder what made us into furries. Funny thing about that commercial is that the YouTube source I got it on has the video listed as for kids. I'll let you be the judge of that. Hi. Where did you come from? Well, you're talking about rabbit commercials, therefore I have to be here. There are no other options. Oh, I suppose. Well, since you're here, you can give me some help with opinion on the next commercial. Che c'è, che c'è, è tardi già da un po', a sprombattuto devo andar se voglio lavorar. Via, di qua, non posso più tardar, ho solo un'ora e mezza e un business meeting da affrontar. Riflettiamoci, chi viaggia per lavoro corre sempre, salta da una città all'altra con la paura di arrivare in ritardo. Non chi vola EasyJet, tra le grandi compagnie aeree siamo una delle più puntuali. Io corro e salto, hop hop hop, vorrei poter volare. So that was an Italian commercial for budget airline EasyJet about how their flights have good on-time performance. And yeah, I mean, that's really cute. I, I love the suit. Although, looking at them paws, um, maybe they probably should have spent a little more time on those paws. Indeed, he's a very dapper bun. He reminds me of my fellow Jenna bunny, Coco. Hi, Coco. And I love that more attention is being drawn to our experience that us rabbits have at the airport. I don't quite think that was the angle the advert was going for, though, you know. Well, it should be. I mean, traveling through airports as a rabbit can be a terrible experience. I mean, customs always takes away my carrots. And I tell you, when us rabbits finally rule the world... Rabbits ruling the world? Oh, well, actually then, you might quite like the next commercial. A gente vai apresentar o maior ovo do mundo. E a boa, é bom? Oi, bom? Oi, bom de Páscoa. O Mestre tem uma surpresita com a foto do Diego. Mas que ele vai nascer com a mano de Deus? Que abre o espanhol. Que tem a coronita. Por que não te callas? Cállate, cállate, que me desespera. Perdão, nós criamos um huevo relleno de lado. Ese, nadie lo había imaginado. Un riquísimo huevo de Pascua relleno de helado. Es el primero y está en Uruguay. Como solo Cruffy te podía sorprender. So, that advert was from Uruguay based ice cream company, Cruffy. From what I can understand through various translations, uh, it's about their new product, which is like an ice cream filled Easter egg. Sounds pretty tasty to me. Awkward stereotypes aside, though, I do like the style of the puppets here. It reminds me of the BBC TV show, Mongrels. So yeah, this ad is very funny. Um, how do you feel though about the idea of ice cream Easter eggs though? Uh, well, that's a mess waiting, uh, that's a mess waiting to happen. I mean, it would melt all over my pores. And if I want ice cream, there's only one company even uh, worth talking about, to be honest. You're just too good to be true. 
can't take my eyes off of you You'd be like heaven to touch I wanna hold you so much Blue Bunny Ice Cream Our best Blue Bunny ever So much flavor So much fun I can do this all day Blue Bunny So hoppin' good Figures that you'd pick the one ice cream brand that uses a bunny in its name. Well, can you blame me, seriously? I mean, that little blue bunny is so adorable. I mean, look, <laughs> I, I bought a pack of them to share. But it's empty. Well, I, I know, but, you know, I, I, I ate them all earlier. <clears throat> but uh, I just wanted to share how awesome the, the packet looks. Look, it's all rabbit guy on here and everything. I mean, if I was a blue rabbit, I would be emailing them to ask if I could be their mascot. Oh, like you did for Capri's last year. Yes, look, well, you know, their mascot is a, a purple rabbit, and, uh, why shouldn't I be Capri's official spokesperson? I mean, they never got back to me, I noticed. Have you ever thought about maybe trying a different brand? You know, another chocolate brand that's got a purple rabbit, like Milka. Papa, hmm? Hát, a húsvéti fészekkeresők segítségével, akik nagy szakértelmüknek köszönhetően kitartóan keresik, és biztos kézzel találnak rá a legjobb rejtekhelyekre. Hallottátok? A fészekkeresők! Hű, a miért a húsvéti nyuszi? Krémes alpesi tejből a legnagyobb gyengétséggel készült. Ez volt minden kívánságom. A miért a húsvéti nyuszi? Hey, there wasn't any bunnies in that advert. And they, they were all chocolate ones, for God's sake. I mean, they it's just bears in it. I know, right? Yay, bears. Bears haven't got anything to do with Easter, though. I mean, why would you? Like I said, yay, bears. Hmm. You're really not taking this well. Maybe you should go see someone. Like in this next commercial. Es ist ein Fluch, wenn man süß ist. Wissen Sie, wie das ist, wenn alle einen süß finden? Oh, ist der süß. Schau mal, wie süß der ist. Ich hasse es, süß zu sein. Süß, immer nur süß. Jetzt was Salziges. Tuck, das Original. Knuspriger denn je. Tuck, passt immer. Okay, that told me nothing. So that was actually an advert for Cracker Brand Tuck. And according to my notes, it's about a cute white plush rabbit named Fido. Um, whose problem is that he's just too sweet. I know that feeling. Well, you see, that's why when he talks to the therapist, she suggests to him a salty tuck biscuit to make him less sweet. And, and what if you don't like crackers? Tough shit, I guess. I mean, luckily, I love tuck biscuits. Mmm, crunchy. Can we just go back to talking about food now that I actually like? Okay, you rabbits like vegetables, right? Yeah. Well, good news. French company Cassegrain, um, I probably said that horrifically wrong. Sorry, French speakers. Um, so they've got a rather cool mascot rabbit in their commercials. Pourquoi la ratatouille Cassegrain est-elle si délicieuse? La sélection de mes légumes, essentiel. Et leur cuisson, délicate, avec juste une pointe d'huile d'olive. Mais surtout, mon secret, je leur chante des chansons d'amour. Tomate passion, amour poivron, euh, courgette tendresse. Casse-grain, une autre idée du légume. Mais haricots verts, cueillis rangés à la main, quelle finesse! Well, that's the kind of ratatouille I'm interested in. Much better than the Disney one. And those little shades and bow tie are just adorable. I had a feeling that you would like that advert. And I'm loving all of these rabbit adverts, by the way. More! More, 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 more. Uh, well, I guess, I guess we got time for one more? Yay! Okay, finally then, let's head to South Korea for a commercial from company Daesung advertising their underfloor heating. Thanks, Hermux, for helping me translate this one. <laughs> Wow. Cute rabbits, but why are they dancing? Well, I guess they are just that excited about their new underfloor heating. 
Actually, I tell a lot, I probably would be too if we had it. Oh, it stopped my paws feeling so cold in the morning. Oh, true. Uh, so yes, there we go. Those are some more furry commercials that are all bunny related. <laughs> what adverts did you like best? Are there any furry commercials you think I should check out and talk about next? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, or consider supporting me on Patreon. There's a link in the description below. Also, I've got a range of merchandise. You should be able to see some below the video. Otherwise, there'll be a link in the description as well. I'm Shadow Raccoon. And I'm Theodore Rabbit. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.